Welcome to the introduction video series of the Halkin Deep Learning Smart Train tool developed by Link Singapore. With this tool, we intend to make the Halkin Deep Learning process easy to use, eliminating the necessity to write the script in Halkin IDE. This will help in faster prototyping. All the steps necessary to perform the deep learning training is available with a single interface. In this video, we will showcase the Halkin Deep Learning Anomaly Detection module. This is the Halkin Deep Learning Smart Train tool. You can select the different Halkin Deep Learning modules, Anomaly Detection, Classification, Object Detection, and Semantic Segmentation modules are available in the current version. Now, I will showcase the Anomaly Detection. The first step is to create a new project. The project name, project path, and the images folder needs to be specified to create a new project. Now we have successfully created the project. The Health and Deep Learning follows the following workflow labeling, pre processing, training evaluation, and finally, the inference. Let us start with the step one, that is the labeling. This is the labeling tool for the anomaly detection. The images will be auto-loaded based on the images folder that we specified during the project creation. There is an auto-label option available, which will auto-label the images based on the image subfolders. You can also manually label the images as OK or not OK images. Once the labeling is done, the label data needs to be saved. Now we go to the step two, that is pre-processing. The images will be pre-processed based on the image dimension settings. The images will also be scaled to a value that is suitable for the deep learning network. Once the pre-processing is completed, you will be able to visualize the pre-processed images. Now we move on to the third step, that is the training. The anomaly detection model needs to be trained. For anomaly detection, only a few hyperparameters need to be tuned. The parameters can be set here. Now we start the training. Now the anomaly detection training is completed. Now we move on to the next step, that is the evaluation. Once the training is completed, the model needs to be evaluated. Now the evaluation is completed. We can visualize the evaluation metrics like the score histogram, precision, recall, and the absolute confusion matrix. This step helps to check the performance of the trained model. We can save the trained model and the thresholds at the end of this step. Now we move on to the final step, that is the inference. The inference on the images can be done as the final step. Both live and offline inference options are available. 
With the live inference, the camera interface and the camera will be auto detected. Here is the offline inference for the images loaded. We can visualize the heat map and the region of the defect can also be visualized. We can also adjust the classification and the segmentation threshold to pass or reject the samples based on the defect size. This concludes the video for Halkin Deep Learning Anomaly Detection using our Deep Learning Smart Train tool. To try out our Smart Train tool, please contact our sales team. Thank you for watching this video.